add to their game, it can only help. A lot of people are just baseliners and they, they tend to think that uh, if I can win from the baseline, why should I come to net? But hey, I'd rather run up the net and just dink a little volley for a winner than, than hit 15 balls from the baseline. So I'm personally working on coming to net more and putting away the volleys, and I think it's important for everybody to. The forehand and backhand volley. There is nothing more important than that solid, good, ready position. Get down with your weight slightly forward so you can move to the right or move to the left. Or even be in good balance if that ball comes right at you. It's not swinging at the ball, but just making contact with the opponent's ball and directing it. The hip and shoulder rotation is the backswing. This keeps that racket head out in front of you. Your eyes should concentrate on the ball with a minimum of head movement. That's the volley. Let's talk about the serve. First of all, the serve is a key part of the game because it depends whether or not you're in trouble after you hit it or you're controlling the point. If you can, at the very minimum, get a neutral return, you have a chance to win the point. We want more than the neutral return. We want a feeble return from a forcing serve. The grip. Andre Agassi uses the continental grip for the flat serve with a minimum of spin on the ball. For the second serve, he moves his hand slightly to the left to the backhand grip which enables him to put a brushing up effect on the ball with spin and added control. The same is true for his kicker serve, which Andre will use as a first or second serve. Two, the toss. The ball and racket must work together. No matter what serve motion you have elected, the ball and racket work together, giving you rhythm and timing. The toss is essential. You must throw the ball up high enough to give you time to get that racket around so you can make contact in the same place over and over again. Normally on the first serve, the best place to toss the ball is slightly in front of you and in the area of your left foot or your front foot. On the second serve, a small variation with the ball thrown not so far in front and a bit more to the left. For the majority of players, the tossing area doesn't change much because they want to disguise the type of serve they are going to hit up until the point of contact. The ball and racket must work together to be able to reach up, make contact, get that racket going, and a big follow through. At the point of release, the left hand must be fully extended, pointing upward while the right hip and shoulder are rotating in a slight downward motion preparing the racket head for its accelerated upward motion. Do not forget the use of the legs in the serve. It's so essential to provide the extra power and upward movement towards the ball. Getting the thrust from your legs and getting that right side to rotate at the same time towards the ball will give you the feeling that you are attacking the ball with confidence. Another thought to the serve is where do you end up? Does your left foot come forward? Do you jump up off your feet? Do you keep your left foot planted and go up on your toe and let your right leg come over? All of them are correct. Look at the service of today. Everyone hits it differently. The stance. You must get into a stance that gives you balance to apply your serving motion with the ball and racket working together. The follow through. Whether you are a serving volleyer or a baseline player, you must follow through into the court with your weight going forward. You either continue to the net or recover back to the baseline position. Power versus placement. In your arsenal of serves, you should have the ability to hit the big serve. But if it isn't working on a given day, don't panic. Go to your other weapon, which is the high percentage placement serve, which will keep your opponent guessing and allow you to still play your attacking service game. The most important thing about hitting an effective serve is not how hard you hit it, but where you put it. So watch here in slow motion the extension of my arms and also the racket head acceleration when I meet the ball.
think there's a lot of misconceptions on what a good server actually is. A lot of people think, hey, if I hit that first serve real hard, even if I miss, you know, I'm going to look like a good server. And then they go for a second serve and they just pray that it's going to go in. I think the idea is to take a little bit off that first serve and just get a lot more first serves in. And eventually, as you start doing that, you'll find your confidence start making that serve get a little harder, a little harder, and pretty soon it'll be a big serve. But um, it's important to work on your percentage more so than power and work on your placement more so than power. And if you're, if you're moving the serve around, it's a lot more effective than people realize. The serve. It's very important that you establish a sound stance that enables you to have good balance in the total serve motion. You've got to go up after the ball. You've got to toss that ball up with your left hand. As that left hand is fully extended, the right side of your body has rotated with the hip and shoulders. Those legs are going to push you up and after that ball. You want to make contact with that ball with an accelerated racket head. And then I want you to follow through with a big follow through on the completion of the serve. Return of serve, huh? You mean the attacking return of serve. That's what it's about. Andre Agassi, four and five years old, his father Mike standing behind him. Go for it, son. Hit it. Hit it, son. Hard, harder, harder. That's why Andre Agassi's return to serve is a weapon. The mental attitude is positive. You are going to go for the ball. If you can return service, your serve improves immediately. Why? Because you know you can break the man or break the lady anytime you want. Let's talk about the return to serve. One. The hip and shoulder rotation must be positive. Two, whether it be a straight back or a semicircle, it makes no difference. Also, you've got to pick up the ball immediately, not when it bounces. Pick up the ball the second it leaves your opponent's racket. Which means, can you get a tip from where your opponent is tossing the ball? That might tell you what type of serve. Normally on return of serve, the first return, the racket should be a little low. Why? It's normally a forcing flat serve with very little action. The second serve, however, get that racket head up a little higher. Why? The ball is going to kick, bounce up. So remember, the ready position is key. Weight forward, good hip and shoulder rotation. Don't be dreaming. Don't worry where you're going to hit that first return of serve. Just get it back in the beginning. Also, do not concentrate on the opponent. You concentrate on the ball. You have enough to contend with, the ball. You are playing against the ball, not the opponent. Get the ball back so that you put the opponent in trouble. If they're in a 